Hi, I'm Dorothy Fraser of loveplanet.com.au and goldenbrainersnow.com. It is my understanding that we are creator beings. We are creating with the creator energy 24-7. We are creating story. And depending on what we are thinking, feeling, saying, depends on what story we are projecting. So if we wake up and we're having a bad hair day we will and continue in that story, we will continue to create that story. So if I wake up and I'm having a bad hair day, I will ask my guides and my angels to help me to come into a better place. And usually relatively quickly, they shift me back into light fields, places of light, places of joy, places of blessing, places of goodness with my beautiful cat there, Ruby. So in these times in 2020, a rapid change and what appears to be immense uncertainty, there's an opportunity for you through affirming and clarity to come into a certainty by affirming certainty, choosing certainty, choosing clarity, affirming clarity. But also my understanding is we've moved from a third dimensional frequency since the end of 2012 into the fifth dimensional fields. And some of the spiritual teachers around the planet are saying that we will be fully merged into the fifth dimensional energy of the new world of love, light, blessings, glory for all life by 2032. So we're bridging from an old pattern of square, mental body tightness, emotional body drama, into being in alignment with our fifth dimensional pure, pure light filled selves. That's what's birthing in on one level that's going on around the planet. So the story that I'm out picturing for the fifth dimensional fields, which I'm one million percent committed to in 2020 and it's my major 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 focus right here right now no matter what's going on out there that's where i'm sitting and being committed to radiating my light radiating my light so um each day i've been walking around the planet as this beacon of light walking with the ascension flame, which is a 100 by 200 foot white flame of purification. I walk into everyone's homes, into every hospital, every institution with the flame of ascension. And the creation energy that Creator has shown me to create in 17 years ago, I was asked to create this. But for this is a fifth dimensional story of creation that Creator has shown me to create is the Rose Court Ceiling Temple and Ascension Gardens, which is beautiful. So every single day, I'm taking this beautiful temple, which is in process. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff going on with it, of getting this beautiful being built. Uh, I've got it up on a GoFundMe page, um, raising money to have it built. So I'm very excited. And there's a lot of interest, which is fantastic. Thank you, everyone. But I'm taking this beautiful being into everyone's homes because it's rose quartz. It's a building. It'll hold up to 200 people. It's got an amazing, amazing, amazing energy field. And rose quartz, beautiful rosy. This is uh, represents one of the walls of the temple. Very nice. Very, very nice. So the temple will hold up to 200 people. The floors will be rose quartz. The walls will be rose quartz. Hip, hip, hooray, hallelujah. Rose quartz will heal us and heal us and heal our hearts with the vibration of love and softness and kindness and more kindness and more kindness. That's what Rosie does. So this is what I'm walking into everyone's homes every day, every hospital, every institution, putting this frequency with the ascension flame into everyone's homes. So my creation story for the fifth dimensional energies that are birthing in, my job that spirit wants me to do is have this baby built for humanity, for the beautiful waters, for the beautiful air, for the clouds, for the birds, for the grasses, for the trees, for the insects, for everyone. That's what this beautiful baby is for. So what I want us to affirm right here, right now, is what's going to be your creation in the new fifth dimensional field? I know about this stuff going on in 2020, but while it's happening, and while we're in a different way, being rewoven into a different energy, anchoring in to those sorry buddy <laughs> anchoring in to those fifth dimensional light rays and connecting with creator in what is your story of glory in the new world we're birthing in 
the new world of clean air, clean water, clean earth, people that feel loved and respect and supported every single part of the human race cultures and every animal, every plant, every elemental being. So if you'd affirm with me, I dream the dream with Creator. I dream the dream with Creator. I dream the dream with Creator. I so look forward to seeing your creation. What's the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful creation energy that you've come to create in the fifth dimensional fields? Because I already know what I've come to create and it is spectacular glory, absolute glory for the whole of the universe. So I want to see what you're going to create. I dream the dream with Creator. I dream the dream with Creator. I dream the dream with Creator. You have a glory life. Come and hang out in the temple when it's built. Can't wait to see you there. Come and hug the crystals. There'll be uh, seven big gardens full of um, big fellas. You know, five, six foot big crystals in those gardens for people to meditate in and hug. If you want to check it out, the, the rest of it, um, I've got a beautiful prospectus up on loveplanet.com.au. If you want to have a look at what I'm bringing in, in for the new, new heaven on earth, my job in the fifth dimensional world that we're birthing in, it's this beautiful healing temple and ascension gardens. So it'll give you the vibe and the understanding and the frequency of what the fifth dimensional fields are about and what living in the fifth dimensional energy is about. Have a look at it. It'll help. Um, it, it will really help you understand where we're going, what we're birthing in and go deeper into birthing that story. in. All right. You have a glory life. God bless.